breaking news on nine on your side. And we do begin with breaking news here in the 8 a.m. hour. A nearly 30 hour long hostage situation and standoff is over in Liberty Township. This is brand new video of that scene as this marathon situation ended just around 645 this morning. That's right. A 10 year old boy is now safe and the man accused of holding him inside of a car for more than a day is now in custody. That boy's mother just spoke to our Brianna Malloy, who is now live at the scene. Brianna. Tamika, that's right. 30 hours law enforcement was staged at this apartment complex behind me the whole time just trying to get that 10 year old boy to safety. Well, now everyone is breathing a sigh of relief knowing that he's safe. He's currently with his mother being checked out at the hospital. Now, as you said, I did have a chance to speak with the boy's mother and he told me that this is something that he could have that she could have never seen coming. She said the man that held her son hostage was like family. When he came to their house yesterday, he was acting strange and aggressive. Then came the hardest part. She said she had to make the decision to escape the house without her son so that she could call for help. Now, we spoke to her today. She gave us her experience in her own words, but she asked us not to use her face or her name. Yeah, he's a brave little boy. Um, all he wanted to do at the end of the day was protect mommy. I think he was more concerned about me being safe versus him being stuck with the bad guy. So I'm just happy that all of this turned out right and he's okay and everything is back to not normal, but at least I can have a peace of mind. I also talked to officials at the Butler County Sheriff's Office, and one of the things they told me was that at 30 hours, this is the longest hostage situation that they've ever experienced. One of the reasons they say for that was because they were never able to um, establish clear communication with the man inside the apartment. They said they kept sending in a phone and he kept throwing that phone back out of the window. Now they said at the end of the day, the reason was uh, that the man came out is they said he just gave up. They said when he exited the house, he came out using the 10 year old boy as a shield and then law enforcement was able to take that man into custody. We'll continue to keep you updated. We'll be back at 8.30 with another live update. Brianna Malloy, 9 on your side. Brianna, while we have you, obviously uh, ending about as well as you could hope a situation yeah. like this ends, but I, I'm interested, did the mother say anything about what prompted this? It seems that for this to go from a fight to a 30-hour standoff and hostage situation is a really extreme escalation. Right. Well, I did ask the mother that question and she said she was confused as to what started it as well. She said her best explanation at this point was that it was drug related. Wow. All right, Brianna, thank you so much for that update. And of course, uh, at least that mother, that baby and everyone else in the situation, even the neighbors that had to be evacuated are all safe now. Thank you so much.